Hey everybody, welcome back to the Manga Geekdom. Geo here. Today we're doing a Satoshi Mizukami double feature. We're going to talk about Sengoku Yoko and World and Solte. First impressions on these two series. I'm reading them for the very first time. Super excited to bring you my thoughts on these books. Let's get started. So let's begin with Sengoku Yoko. Gonna give you my quick thoughts here. This is the first time, like I mentioned earlier, that I'm reading this. This is the first volume of a finished series. This started back in December of 2007 and ended in May of 2016. This action adventure series ran for 100 chapters collected across 17 volumes. This is being put out by Tokyo Pop and hopefully it sells well and we get all 17 volumes because I really enjoyed the premise of this. We followed two characters. One of them is Tama Yoko and the other Jinka Yamato. These two are demon siblings traveling across Japan to stop all evildoers from committing crimes and mischief and evil things in general. Now the big twist here aside from the main duo not being regular humans is that these demons or monsters are called katawara and in this world people suddenly are being transformed into katawara and the main duo vowed to stop this even if it means siding with humans now along the way the two siblings meet up with a swordsman called shinsuke he's a bit of a coward mostly the comedic relief of this story or at least in this first volume an unlikely trio forms and we go along for the ride. It's pretty interesting. Jinka is half demon. He isn't fully a Katawara, but he wants to be fully embraced in that world. Whereas Tama is sort of this fox spirit and she has sacred blood and a special ability that Jinka can utilize to sort of enhance his strength and powers. And he gets super powered up as you're seeing here in the images of the book. And he uses that immense strength to fight other strong humans and powerful demons that might be threatening the peace and everybody around them. The art is is phenomenal. I love Satoshi Mizukami's artwork. I really like his character work. They are cartoony but well-defined and just pleasing to the eye in my opinion. The art on this is easy to follow, dynamic and fluid. The action scenes are clean and nice. I like the heavy usage of ink to highlight certain aspects like when Jinka transforms and you see the, the outline in his hair. It makes for a very distinct comic booky style of fighting and, and character work. But overall, really fun. I like the dynamic between the two siblings. Uh, there are hints that they're not actually siblings, so I'm looking forward to finding out why. I like the usage of like the monsters and all that stuff to further explore uh, the two characters and their power sets and all that. I'm interested to see more of the monsters, which I should have mentioned earlier, if there's any fault to this book, is that I wasn't thoroughly impressed with the creature designs. I thought they were just a little bit too average looking to me. I, I don't know. However, I do like the story and characters, so I'm not going to fault it for that. Obviously, this is the first six chapters of a hundred chapter series, so I'm very much looking forward to the progression of the art, characters, and of course, the monster designs. But definitely recommend it if you're into uh, feudal Japan, monsters, folklore, and stuff like that, but superpowers and, and uh, action and sword fights and all that, definitely check out Sengoku Yoko. Now, the next one here is World and Salte. Even though we have two volumes out, I'm mostly going to concentrate on my thoughts on volume one, uh, which is probably where you're here to find out if you like it or not. This is the author's most recent work. It came out back in January of 2020. It's still being published. This is more of an adventure fantasy series. This is a world with magic and mystical creatures and all that stuff. And until recently, there was a big war. It finally ended. There is the what they call the magical pollution that has been plaguing the lands and it distorts time and space. In these areas, there are salvagers that go in and try to get like rare items and magical stuff and all that, but it's a profession that's very famous in this world. Now, at the start of the series, we follow the character of Solte, whose mother and father were unfortunately killed 
trying to eliminate a blight within the magical polluted areas. Solte, after some really heavy confrontations with the mayor of her town and some other characters that appear, she ends up running away and we learn of her new conviction to explore the blights, explore the magical pollution, go into these uh, distorted areas and not necessarily be there and grab some loot, but actually go all the way to the end and find the other side and see how far she can go and maybe get to the bottom of this distortion and pollution that's uh, ravaging the land. As she explores the world, she meets other characters that have very different circumstances, which are typical in fantasy stories like this, when you form a party and they all have their unique quirks and abilities and backstories. So that was really fun to see. Now, I have to be honest here, at the start of the manga, I wasn't exactly sure what to think of the art. I found it a little rougher than usual. This book only has three chapters. They are lengthier than your typical manga chapter, by the way. And towards the end of the first chapter, I really uh, got used to it and saw the, the charm and uniqueness of a Mizukami work. I love, like I mentioned with Sengoku, I love the contrast of the real world, quote unquote, with the cartoonish uh, character designs. They look fantastic. I don't know, maybe it was just me nitpicking uh, for the sake of it. I really enjoy how this series looks. I like the character designs. I love the creature aspect to it. So yeah, overall, I was really enamored by everything here. I love the setting. I love the usage of the fantasy tropes and all that. First volume ends on a bit of a cliffhanger. Thankfully, we do have volume two out so we can continue the story. It's obviously going to be a little annoying waiting so long for another volume, but I'm excited regardless. I think this has the making of a fantastic series. Can't wait to check out more of World and Solte. I'm on board 100% on that one too. So yeah, no shocker here, right? I liked both books. So if you've read these series, let me know in the comments section down below, or if you're collecting them, let me know as well. Pretty interested to chat with you guys in the comments section. Thank you everybody for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of the manga geekdom. Truly do appreciate it. God bless, stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.